Today, I'm going to show you how I, well, sort of make my own plugins using this other plugin. And the best part is you can do it too. You can pretty much build whatever you want, design the faders, the knobs, the graphics, whatever you want, save it and just use it. <laughs> At this point, you probably have two questions. How do you do that and what is that plugin? Let me answer that. So the first plugin I made that I wanted to show you guys today is called the Ed Talenti Melody NS. I know the name is pretty bad, but I just made it for me. I'm not like selling it or anything, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is basically a multi-effect plugin that I specifically built around what I like my melodies to sound like. Vintage, wide, and full of cool, unique textures. Let me record something with the guitar and I'll show you how it works. That's pretty fire, I like the melody a lot. Check out what happens though when I pull up the plugin. Hey, whew. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not selling this or anything. I just made this for myself. But if you click on devices right here, you can actually go through and modify it completely. See how I built it and just break it down. So I'm sure you're wondering, how did I build this exactly? Well, let's travel back to a couple months ago and I'll show you. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Ed, what's up, man? So this is Ryan from Reason, the music software company. He hit me up because he said there was something cool that he wanted to show me. So what's up, man? What do you want to talk about? Okay, so, you know, we have this thing in Reason Plus called the Combinator, right? Okay. It, which basically, it allows you to sort of take instruments, effects, uh, combine them all into a single device and then sort of design faders, buttons, whatever you want. So you can kind of like build your own thing, like put graphics or whatever, you can make it kind of like your own plugin? Exactly, exactly, that's basically what you can do. Okay, so I've been messing around with this for like a couple of days now and dude, this is awesome. For example, this is a little plugin I just made this morning. It's basically an all-in-one kick and 808 plugin. It's loaded up with my own kicks and my own 808s that I can switch out whenever I want. I created a knob right here that lets you select between 808 and kick. So if I go all the way here, it's just a kick all the way here, just the 808, and you can blend them however you want to. I put a ducking knob, which basically automatically sidechains the kick in the 808 within the plugin. I put a distortion knob, a length knob, a soft clip, basically everything that I need to control my kicks in 808s all in one plugin. <laughs> this is way too fun. <laughs> I bought a new guitar. <laughs> it arrived literally yesterday. You already know, we're about to put it to the test. We're gonna cook something up. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is the perfect time to do it. We're getting really close to 200K, so let's get it. Oh, also I'm gonna leave a link at the top of the description to subscribe to my free newsletter, The Full-Time Producer. The best music news of the week, free plugins, tutorials, just all kinds of stuff every single week in your inbox for free. We already have over 6,000 readers. Come join the family. It's completely free. And if you hate it, you can always unsubscribe later. <laughs> Let's go make some music. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> I suck at guitar. <laughs> Two, three, four. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. I wanna play the same melody, but an octave lower. This is awesome. <laughs> I love this guitar. <laughs> okay, now that we got that, I'm gonna run every single track through the Ed Talenti melody and answer. Let's hear what that sounds like. Ooh. Okay, pitch it down a little bit. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> I just had an idea. Bum, bum. Hold on. That's 
français. Ouf. This beat is about to be crazy. All right, let's get some drums. That's pretty good, but I want to chop up the shaker loop to just kind of give it more bounce. This is fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Reason. Let's go into the Reason Plus packs and see what kind of bass we can find. I think we found our bass. <laughs> Okay, real quick before I show you how to arrange the beat and finish it up, let me give a huge shout out to Reason for sponsoring this video and just making cool stuff. <laughs> I highly recommend clicking the link at the top of the description for just $1 you can access Reason Plus, all the sound packs, all the plugin making stuff, everything you just saw right now, just a bunch of stuff, $1 for your first month. Just go try it out and if for whatever reason you hate it, you can just cancel it and you just spent a dollar. Also, anyone who tags at Talenti and at Reason Studios in their story using Reason Plus is gonna be entered to win a one year license for Reason Plus, the whole thing for free. All right, let's go finish this beat. Okay, we have pretty much all the elements we need. Let's try to arrange this. Okay, so for the intro, I'm gonna do just the melody. I'm gonna get an EQ, we're gonna automate it a little bit to kind of give it some movement. Drum fill, boom, 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 boom. fire. <laughs> okay, now for the drop, we gotta find a cool spot to bring in the drums. That's it, let's bring in the bass. Oof. Okay, repeat that a couple times and then we go into the verse. All right, this is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, remember to be positive and positive things will happen. Yeah, I'm cold, cold. Might make you shiver, shiver.